He's got a cool car. Oh, God, it's in pieces. Did Graham not say if Mr Morris had any eyes? Because I'm not sure he knows there's a house right in front of him. Stop, stop, stop! stop. Jesus! Hello, Mr Morris. Your bloody house just broke my light. Delightful bathroom. Oh, thank you. Drink, Mr Morris, uh, Lou. There was no hand towel. Oh, I am sorry. I had to dry my hands on the curtains. What else could I do? Not dry your hands on the curtains? Yes, I had the biggest button sewing company around. That is, until Rutherford's came along. He doesn't like Rutherford's. Rutherford's? They wouldn't know a button from a monkey's anus. Ooh. Very succulent chicky, my love. Thank you. You, little legs. Me. Excellent. Have a guess how many staff I had in London and the South East. Um, four. Four? Four? No, not you. Don't listen to him. You, Beanstalk. How many staff do you think I had working for me in London and the South East? And the South East? And the South East. Don't know, a thousand? A thousand? A thousand? All right. Hundred. Less. Ninety. Much less. Five. More. Five. Six. Eleven, all right. I had eleven damned loyal people all working for me. Right. And you know what? Not one of them ever slandered me. Really? Did they, Nelly? What? I was never slandered. Tell them. He was never slandered. Gotcha! <laughs> You had your hand in my trousers! No, I didn't! It was an accident! An accident?! Yes! I, I, I slipped and... He did, he slipped and then it was... Crap and... Oh, Jesus! Oh, What's going on? What happened to the light? Your son was fiddling with my private parts! What? What? He had his hand down my trousers! No, I didn't! I was... Adam? That makes you either a thief or a molester! Which one are you? Uh... Thief's better say thief. What were you doing in here? Nothing, it was a mistake. Oh, I am sorry, Mr Morris. No! This is worse than Rutherford's! Oh. Get your coat, Nelly. It's an outrage. An absolute outrage. An absolute <laughs> bloody... Oh! Oh! oh, my God. Shit! Oh, my God. Lou! Lou! Mr. Morris! What's going on? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is he dead? Lou! Sorry. Oh! Oh! Ah! <sighs> I think you're tough, do you? I didn't mean to. You filthy slanderer! It's OK, Mr Morris. Let's see what you've got, what? then. Come on, put them up! What? Put them up, half pint. Come on! Put them up? Come on! Put them up! No, stop it! Now, Mr come Morris, on. please. Oh, your top's come off, has it? You want so as well, do you? Pardon? Right! Mr Morris! Oh, come on! Put, put them up! Mr Morris! And Mr. Morris, I had an nasty fall. A thousand, eh? What? A thousand workers at my factory! <laughs> Even Rutherford didn't have a thousand! I would like to formally apologise to the entire Goodman family for the... I can't read your bloody writing. Oh, yeah. Really awful behaviour I exhibited when I last came to your lovely house. Done. Isn't that nice of Lou? Very moving. I don't remember what I did, but I hear it wasn't appreciated. Well, you called us a bunch of penises. Martin. I called you a bunch of penises? Well, I should wash my mouth out with soap and water. Um, the bathroom is just down there. But thank God I'm a completely changed man. And it's all thanks to your wonderful grandmother. Look. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, raw passion, that is. All I said was, I didn't really like coffee. What? You, have a guess. You want me to guess what everything's all about? Well, go on. Uh, pineapples. Pineapples? You, stick insect. Excellent. Have a guess what it's all about. There's quite a lot to guess from. Well, go on. The government? Pineapples and the government. Pineapples and the government? Well, I'll tell you what it's all about. Punk rock. Punk rock? Yes, it's everywhere. You turn on the radio, punk rock. Right. You walk down the street, everywhere punk rockers. Everywhere. Aren't I right, Nelly? Uh, yes, Lou. No. Um, he doesn't like punk rockers. I don't. <coughs> 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 uh, 
I don't like them. Ogly my Nelly and her privates. Okie dokie. He's very protective. How nice. I'll tell you, if I had a son and he turned out to be a punk rocker, do you know what I'd do? What's that then? I'd spurn him, I would. Spurn him! Well, I don't think you two will be having any little punk rockers for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? That my seed is bad? Well, oh, no, I... There's nothing wrong with my seed. Tell him, Nelly. Uh, there's nothing wrong with his seed. Nothing wrong with it. It's grade A stuff. Nelly. Yes? Juicy. Him, him. Smell it. Go on, smell. Stop it, Jackie. Smell. Go on, it's just someone to be with. All right? It's company. Grandma's actually going to marry that loony. Oh. Someone calling me a loony. Oh, um, hello, Mr. Morris. Hi. Let me tell you something about this loony. This loony built up a button sewing business from nothing but dust. Right. To become not the fifth. Not the fourth, not the third, but the second biggest button sewing business in the whole of the Hertfordshire region. Now finish your widow! Should he be doing that? Uh, Mr. Morris? That is quite near. Impossible to miss. Possible to miss. Bad luck, Lou. Ah, it was a faulty ball. It was bloody buggered. I've had enough of this. Lou! Right. Come on. No. Let's have you. Here we go. Seconds out, round two. Pull him up, you scoundrel. Help. Come on, you. Help. Oh, Come on. God. Let's have you. Shit on it. Shit on it. Shit on it. Come here, you. Don't run away, you coward. Ow. Ah. 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 Mr. Morris. Ah. Kill him. Ah. Kill him. Ah. 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 Get off. I want to fight the big dog. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Mr. Morris. Find a parking space, did you? There. Uh, she's not around, is she? She? The woman. It's very bad luck to see the woman before the wedding. Ah, uh, no. The woman's upstairs. Oh, come outside then. Come on. What? Layabouts. Now then. I've got something I want to give your grandmother. A noose? It's something very precious, and I'd like her to wear it at the wedding. Oh, right. That's nice of you. Yeah. You do know you're taking me to the synagogue today. Are we? And I don't want you looking like a pair of punk rockers. Tuck your shirt in. <laughs> Thank you for the sexual assault. <laughs> and you do your top button up. No one wants to see your scrawdy turkey neck. I... What about you? What about me? I'm in my comfies. Your comfies? Listen. When I'm in my full regalia, I shall look like a prince, I tell you. A prince! OK. Just a minute. Have you sold yourself? What? He has sold himself. That's all I need, a bottom soiler. You better not start soiling your bottom when you enter the house of God. OK. I'll, I'll try not to, Mr Morris. I'm a pillar of the community. Pillar of the community. I beg your pardon. See you later. I do know what you're doing. Don't come in. Thank you. All in white. The Prince. <laughs> right. What's so funny? Nothing. What's with the bin bag? You'll see. Recycling Grandma? No, no, no. We're not going in that. Really? We're going in this. Are we? Oh. It's my wedding day and I wish to travel in my own vehicle. The Deathmobile? Now, come on, get your legs in that. What? I'm not having you soiling your grubby bottom in my car. Now, come on, get your legs in. Great idea. Go on, Adam. <sighs> right. Where's the woman? <laughs> Wish that stupid git would play something we bleed and know. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai Berachnuch how do I look? Like you, only more done up. 